A startling start to the day for residents on Roosevelt Island. Oh, it was crazy. So uh, it woke us up. It sounded like a faraway explosion, it sounded like, and then the whole building shook. It was as if the building shook. There was a loud boom. You could feel like the wall shake. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, a 1.7 magnitude quake registered at 545 Tuesday morning. The epicenter was Astoria, Queens, but few people there noticed. So why did people a mile and a half away on Roosevelt Island feel the impact? The answer has to do with the island's high rises, which are built deeper into the ground than the smaller buildings in Astoria. When you're building high rises, you're building any of these buildings in Manhattan, you want to get down to bedrock because that's uh, that's a secure place, right? It's not going to shift. Um, but that also means that you'll feel the stuff that vibrates, through, that that those waves that actually are transmitted through the uh, through the earth. Dr. Stephen Holler manages the Seismic Observatory at Fordham University. He says the quake in Queens was incredibly minor. Compared to the, the earthquake in Japan, that was a 7.5. It's about a million times difference in terms of its strength. But by New York standards, it's still rare. Like how often does that happen in New York City? It doesn't.